didn't even start the review, and they got my sandwich wrong already. Why do they always fuck up on my sandwiches? Hey food fans, it's Connor here, back with another episode of the Food Review, where I go find you food products, eat it, and review it. So today I stopped at McDonald's to go try out their new sirloin burgers. There's three of them. They have the steakhouse, the uh, lettuce and tomato one, and uh, some other one. Well, I ordered this, and they gave me the wrong one, so I went back and I got the correct one. Now, these are made with 100% sirloin, whom we both know they still have some fillers in there. And uh, this one's the steakhouse. So since it's a steakhouse, you get all these things in your head that you hit your expectations are way high. But this is a fast food restaurant, so we both know you gotta lower your expectations a little bit. So let's show you, show you what's on this sandwich. I gotta cut in half, for that way I can hold it up and show you. For that way I don't have to take a bite and you can see my spit and stuff. So we have the burger, we have some grilled onions, grilled... Um, mushrooms, peppercorn, and some cheese all on their premium bun. And anytime you hear them use that word premium, just throw that word out the window because it doesn't mean jack shit. This one has a big old mushroom sticking out. Hmm. Not too bad. Let's take a bite and see what it tastes like. But before I do it, here's the nutritional facts. And uh, I think this one's the healthier one out of uh, the other two. And before I'm taking a bite, uh, this burger looks like uh, dry, like the Sahara Desert. Whew. All right, so let's dive in. So I have some nice flavors going on in here. The cheese, nice and soft. It's melted, gooey. I think it's uh, white cheddar. It goes along really well with all the, uh, the grilled flavors. We have the grilled onions that are caramelized really nicely and the mushrooms as well. And we have that peppercorn sauce. Let's just see what it tastes like. I can taste it in the burger, but I can't really taste it all that well. You get that pepper, nice, nice little flavor. And the burger itself, it's actually not that dry, a little bland. I expect McDonald's burgers always to be pretty bland. They're never really full of flavor. And this bun, Really digging this bun, nice and soft. All these flavors go really well together. So this is actually a really good sandwich. I actually recommend for you guys to try this one. Now this one actually seems a little different than the other one, like the lettuce and tomato one. Just seems like a regular hamburger and it might just taste something that they already have on the menu. And this one brings something a little different to the table. Not exactly a steakhouse uh, sandwich that I get from a steakhouse, but good for a fast food restaurant. So I'll finish this half off and then I'll tell you what I rate it. So I'm going to be giving the McDonald's 100% sirloin steakhouse burger a nine out of 10. That this was actually a pretty good burger. I wasn't expecting it to uh, be this tasty. And I recommend for you guys to go try this one as, as soon as you can. So on a recap on what was good about it, you had a, a lot of good flavors going on. You had the sweetness from the caramelized uh, onions. You had those onions that were also caramelized. They gave it a little more flavor, a little more depth to it that you had the bun, which was nice and soft, and you all know I like soft buns. The cheese, nice and gooey. I always love melted cheese, and who likes hard cheese? When it's nice and melted, that gooiness, the best. And that peppercorn sauce had a nice little pepperiness to it, added a little more flavor. It had a nice little zing to it too, kind of acidic, which I like. And then the patty that was on there was not dry at all. I thought it was gonna be pretty dry like the Sahara Desert, but they went past my expectations, so good job McDonald's. And what was bad about it, the only bad thing I could say is that I wish the burger had some salt or some pepper, a little more flavor, because for some reason, fast food restaurants, they don't add flavor to their burgers. Just, it was lacking a little bit in that department, but overall, really good sandwich. Well, I hope you enjoyed this episode of the Food Review, and as always, don't forget to like, comment, share, a favorite this video, hit that subscribe button for me to keep track of all the latest food reviews that come every Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays, and sometimes on Tuesdays, and hope to see you tomorrow on Two Minute Tuesdays. Catch you later.